Store owners are getting a crash course tonight on the dangers of selling alcohol and tobacco to minors. Police teaming up with teens to drive home that message. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell shows us what they're doing in Sterling Heights. Police have been handing out booklets like these to several employees at gas stations and convenience stores with information inside for employees to know and to educate themselves with in case if minors come in looking to purchase alcohol or tobacco products. You see it a lot more in like schools and stuff. It's popping up everywhere. Officers with Sterling Heights PD aren't mincing words when telling convenience store owners about the consequences of selling alcohol or tobacco to underage children. It's the education part. Um, we really want to get that word out there and let them know, but then at, at the tail end of things, if we have to come out and enforce, yeah, we will. With prom season quickly approaching, teenagers can be tempted to purchase alcohol or tobacco products. Everybody does it, so that's where they learn from. They learn from older kids, and they just think it's the right thing to do when it's prom night. CARE OF SOUTHEAST MICHIGAN SAYS THIS IS A GREAT OPPORTUNITY FOR TEENS TO MAKE A POSITIVE IMPACT IN THE COMMUNITY. I THINK IT MAKES AN IMPACT ON THE VENDORS AS WELL THAT THEY SEE THAT THERE ARE TEENS IN THE COMMUNITY THAT REALLY CARE ABOUT um, THEIR COMMUNITY AND THEIR PEERS. STERLING HEIGHTS PD ALSO REITERATING THE SEVERE PENALTIES OF SELLING ALCOHOL OR TOBACCO TO UNDERAGE INDIVIDUALS. LATER ON DOWN THE ROAD, IF WE HAVE TO COME BACK AND ENFORCE, WE WILL, BUT THEY'RE EDUCATED AND HOPEFULLY are doing some proactive police work uh, beforehand. The stores have been warned and educated. What happens in the future is now up to the store owners and if they sell to minors. They don't really have this kind of experience with other people, so they need to know that like this is what's going on in the society right now. Sterling Heights police and those teenagers will be going out two more times in the month of March to educate and inform the employees at convenience stores and gas stations about their initiative. Reporting in Sterling Heights, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News.